Hello, I am Jeff the Chef and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're just going to throw something together because sometimes we're in a hurry, we don't know what to make. So today I found some chicken breast in the uh, freezer and some mozzacholis in the cabinet. So we're going to throw all this together. We're going to, I found some cheese in the fridge. We're going to throw it all together, bake it, and it's going to come out delicious, I promise. So let's go over to the kitchen and uh, start putting this together. Okay, to the pan, we have a couple of pounds of chicken breast that I diced up. We're going to put that down into the pan. Throw that around. Let's just go ahead and cook down a little bit, throw some salt on there, some pepper, got to have the pepper. And what I done off camera was I cooked up a pound of mustard cholis. And uh, they're just uh, a little bit underdone. Just just under al dente, if you want to call it. Because what we're going to do is we're going to throw all this together and, and throw some tomato sauce or uh, spaghetti sauce on it. And we're going to bake this in the oven with some cheese. Once it gets done, now this is kind of cooking up pretty quickly. So I was going to add some onions and stuff to this, but I, it's cooking up kind of quickly, so I'm going to throw in some chopped onion, a little bit of green pepper, some mushrooms. Now don't freak out, don't freak out, I hear you yelling already, what's that white stuff on there? It's frost, I just took these out of the freezer. These were fresh mushrooms. If you got extra mushrooms, by all means, bag them up, put them in the freezer. They freeze well and they come right back to life when you cook them down. So we're going to cook this down. And once this is done, I'm going to show you how to put everything together. Okay, chicken is probably 90% done. We're going to go ahead and spoon this into our noodle mixture that I already put some spaghetti sauce in there so it doesn't stick up. You know how much starches there is in noodles. So we'll, let's put this in there. Get the chicken and the onions, mushrooms. Like I said, this I'm just winging this. This these are these are some of the some of the some of the times that you just grab stuff out of the freezer and throw it together. But sometimes it comes out awesome. Sometimes it well every good cook has their bad days, I suppose. But I think this is gonna be pretty good. I think it's going to be really good. If I get these last little pieces out of there. Eh, it's good enough, I suppose. And then we're going to mix this up. Throw in a jar of spaghetti sauce. Now I might use 
two jars, I don't know. I'm going to put in some stewed tomatoes. I like stewed tomatoes. We're going to throw that in there too. Why not? Just mix it all together. I wonder if that, I wonder if that needs another jar to get a sauce. Yeah, maybe not. I think I'd hate to open up a jar and only use half of it. But I'm going to leave it like that. I think that's pretty good. Alright, let me get my pan. And we're going to spoon this into a 9 by 13 inch pan. And throw some cheese on top of it. And we're going to bake this bad boy. Hold on. Okay, I got my... 9 by 13 uh, baking dish. It's all greased up, ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and pour some of this down into the pan. I don't know if I can get all this in there or not, but we're going to we're going to find out, ain't we? Let's get that down in there. Yeah, we might be able to make it. Yeah, we got most of it in there. There we go. Now we're going to top this with uh, cheese. I got a little bit of mixture of mozzarella with some cheddar in there. this is gonna come out pretty good yeah I think some of the best dishes that uh, people make are the ones that they just grab stuff and throw it together now we're gonna put this in the oven bake this uh, I'm gonna say probably about a half hour maybe 45 minutes until that cheese is all nice and cooked and bubbly and brown and uh, I'll show you what it looks like in, uh, when we get it out. Okay, we got this out of the oven and uh, I let it rest for about, yeah, about 5-10 minutes. So let's go ahead and cut, cut into this. That almost looks like a meatball. Let's see if we can scoop some of this out. There we go. Okay, spoon it on out onto the plate. Leave a couple of nice biscuits with it, homemade biscuits. And there you go. Something we just threw it, threw it together. Something right out of the freezer and do it together and baked it and have a delicious meal. Well, there you go. A uh, chicken baked mustard trolley kind of thing. Hey, some of the great, some of the great inventions that are coming out just throwing stuff together like that. Why not, right? I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, I forgot one more thing. I wanted to thank my good friend for sending me my owl. I don't know, can you get a shot of that? Can you see that? It's a handmade, handcrafted uh, wooden owl she sent me. She knows I love owls, so she sent me an owl. Very beautiful dear woman. Thank you very much. I so appreciate it. Owls are very good, uh, fascinating animals. Uh, the Native, Native Americans uh, actually call them the night messengers. Did you know that? <laughs> yeah, that's what they did. They call them night messengers. So uh, if you see an owl at night, Listen to what he says. He's got a message for you. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.